We're making a classic American dessert with an Asian flair on Taste of Caribbean Royale. Pineapple upside down cake, one of my summer favorites for dessert. We're gonna add a little Asian flair to that by making lemongrass syrup to drizzle right over top of our pineapple. So first off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knife here and I'm gonna take the end of that off. I'm also gonna do the top as well. I don't wanna throw away the top of the pineapple because we're gonna save that later for when we garnish our finished dessert. Here's a tip for cutting the pineapple. I'm gonna start with my knife at the top of the pineapple. I'm gonna find a line and I'm just gonna slowly work away following the curve of the pineapple down to my cutting board. Now what that allows me to do is it allows me to get set up for my next cut. So then I'm just gonna take my knife and I'm gonna follow that same line. Make sure that you get all the little eyes from the pineapple off. And then I'm gonna just cut about half an inch all the way down my pineapple. Now that I have my slices, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ring cutter, put it right over my pineapple and I'm gonna press. Once I press, I'm gonna remove the excess pineapple. Then I'm gonna take a smaller ring cutter, center that into the core, and I'm gonna use that to cut out the core of the pineapple. It's gonna give me this nice, beautiful pineapple ring prepared for our dish. Now, if you don't wanna break down a pineapple yourself, you can always go to the grocery store and pick up a can that already has the pineapples cut into nice rings for you. So what are we gonna do with all this extra pineapple? Well, simple, you eat it. Now we're gonna make our pineapple upside down cake in this single serving mold. To get that prepared, we're gonna actually make a caramel. I'm gonna take my butter and I'm gonna put it in my pot. I'm gonna get that melting a little bit. Once that starts to melt down, I'm gonna add my brown sugar. We're really looking for a nice caramel sauce to put in the bottoms of our dishes. Now you wanna be careful when doing this. You don't wanna overheat your sugar here because what will happen is you'll end up getting a burnt and a bitter flavor. You wanna make sure you just bring it to a nice rolling boil and then we're gonna pull that off and save it for our molds. I'm just gonna take a nice spoonful. I'm gonna drop it just into the bottom of my mold. This is gonna set up our base for our pineapple to sit in. We're gonna take those rings that we prepared earlier. I'm just gonna place one of those down in each one of these individual molds. Next, we're gonna put a cherry right in the center of our pineapple. This next step might get a little bit messy, so we're gonna use gloves. We wanna make sure this is nice and cool at this point because you don't wanna burn your fingers. So I'm just put a little in there and then I'm gonna just work it right up the edges of my mold here. It's gonna give us a nice flavor throughout the entire cake. Time for the good stuff, the cake batter that we're gonna put in our molds. I'm gonna start off with the creaming method. And what that is is we're gonna take our sugar and our butter and we're gonna cream those with a paddle attachment on our mixer. So I'm gonna pour my sugar in the bowl and then I'm gonna add my butter. We want to get this nice and light and fluffy. What the sugar is going to do is it's going to help to kind of mix that butter in. It's going to aerate it. Every now and then, you want to make sure you scrape down the side of your bowls. Now, let's add the rest of the ingredients. First, we're going to add the egg. Let it get fully incorporated before we add the rest of our ingredients. Next, add the vanilla bean for flavoring. A little baking soda and salt, our flour. We're going to let that mix before we add our final ingredient, a little bit of milk. Let's add our batter now to the mold. Time to bake these cakes. We're gonna bake at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. If you're not sure about their doneness, take a toothpick and stick in. If it comes out clean, you're ready to go. While the cakes are in the oven, time to make that sauce with an Asian flair. This is lemongrass. This might be growing in your backyard, but it has a nice culinary use. We're gonna cut off our leaves. Then we're gonna use just the stalks here. I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna cut it lengthwise. We're looking to get just the flavor and the oils out of the lemongrass. If you have bigger stalks of lemongrass, just take those and cut them into quarters. For our simple syrup, add equal parts water and sugar. Let that simmer for a second, and then our lemongrass. And let it steep for about 15 minutes. Now that our lemongrass is steeped and we have all that flavor, we're gonna add a little bit of our syrup to our powdered sugar over here. Now let's mix our simple syrup and our powdered sugar together to give us a nice glaze. Cakes are out of the oven, it's time to flip. Time to plate these up and let's add that glaze. I like a little flair. Remember that pineapple top I told you to save from earlier? Let's pluck a little leaf off there. We're gonna add that for a garnish and a little pop of color with our dish. I'm just gonna take my paring knife here, cut a nice sharp angle on that, and I'm gonna use that to stick right in my pineapple upside down cake. We've got more exciting cooking videos and tips, so make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out Carib Royale for this recipe, explore our dining experiences, and plan your next vacation. We'll see you next time on Taste of Carib Royale.